you, a mother, a sister, a hero, uh, a traveler, a foodie. Um, <laughs> I, I've been, I've, I'm gonna admit, I've been watching the, the, the quick fixes oh, yeah. and I love them. I absolutely <laughs> love them. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. And so mm -hmm. to be able to to be able to look at you and say you're 20 years supporting the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation is just yes. next level for me. Ah, uh, thank you. It's one of my definitely one of my favorites. And like you said, I've been doing this for years. And I mean, mm -hmm. everybody was there for such an amazing, beautiful cause, and to see the children, you know, intermingled and you know playing, um, you know, the games at the booths, and sure. everybody just becoming one and hugging and talking and laughing and then eating food together and just all being there for a purpose was yeah. just amazing. And that's, um, you hit the nail right on the head. I mean, my mother was a pro mm -hmm. at having fun, an absolute <laughs> pro. You know, I always say to people that our circumstances are what divide us, but the emotions that we share are what connect us. And she was an amazing humanizer, as are you. And you have to have fun to change the world. And you do completely. And so, you know, I was looking through some of the old pictures of you and your family coming to the event. Oh, and I know that yes. you got to you got to bring your your kids. But I remember taking Cree for the first time. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and like it, it was it's just it's it's so amazing again to be able to, you know, because the foundation became tradition you know, for, for myself. Mm -hmm. And it was so great to be able to take Cree when he was even a tiny baby. I, oh God, I have a hilarious story, Jacob. Oh my <laughs> God. I remember it was one of my most embarrassing moments with my son at, at your event. My son, he went running across the lawn, right? And he just bolted and his diaper was full and his diaper completely <laughs> fell off as he was running across the lawn. It was because it was full, you know? Yeah. And I, he was completely naked. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you know what? At, in, in fine form, it definitely makes you put your, your motherhood on the forefront of everything that's happening in that moment, right? You see your baby running across the lawn, diaper falling off full. Like there's yeah. no, there's, there's no, there's no reason to look at like the publicity or anything else. It's just I, I like, know. I gotta be I, a mom right now. I, yep. I was like, all right, let's just let, I, I gotta go. And I remember <laughs> I was in my heels and I was like running across the grass and I was like, oh my gosh. But I remember my brother Taj, my sister, my, my nephew Aiden was there. And that was the first time we got to bring our babies. And that was so amazing. And then I got to bring Cree again um yeah. to another one of your your events and he absolutely loved it but again what a great way to introduce him to the act of um you know inspiring totally. and you know just encouraging and uh supporting so i have a question when when you guys you know at the event it's super fun and it's carnival and it's games and it's food um you know, when you guys left, did he at that? I mean, it's a young age, so I wouldn't be surprised if not. But did he ask you, you know, mom, what's what's this event about? Did you guys talk about oh, HIV? Oh, yes, totally. Oh, yes, totally. I and don't what's think, that, what was that dialogue like for you? Yeah, I don't think that you're ever too young to, mm. um, you know, uh, just talk about what's going on in the world with your children. Um, and I remember telling him about your mom and how your mom, you know, started this amazing organization um, to help children. Um, and, you know, it was very simple, short, sweet, but again, um, the gist of the conversation was about helping and inspiring and community and, um, you know, coming together. Do you, do you remember when you first learned about HIV and AIDS in your life? Yes, I do. Um, I remember the first story that I heard, profound story, was actually mm. through your organization, oh, you wow. and your mom's organization. Uh, that was the first time I've ever um, yeah. became just aware of, you know, HIV, um, you know, and, and AIDS. Mm -hmm. um, but so again, so I, I just want to say thank you because this is 
how we bring awareness. This is yes. how we continue to um, educate. My mother was such a spark of inspiration and did what she had to do to protect her family and her children and, mm -hmm. and in turn all children around the world. Um, but at the same time, you know, our foundation has grown into a global uh, machine of hope. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. like, it's mm -hmm. absolutely amazing to look at and our ability to do what we do comes through the teamwork and the collaboration of so many people. And, you know, that's mm -hmm. what my mother really stood for was collaboration. And this last year and a half of living through COVID has really been quite a challenge for yeah. all of us to, to find that hope and to see yeah. how do we come out the other side of this better than when we went in. Mm. Um, and so, you know, it's, you know, you're, you're a mother. I'm sure mm -hmm. you spent this last year and a half very aware of how to protect your babies. Yes. You know, that is an experience that all mothers around the world have now shared together yeah. And now you are really, truly connected to my mom and that feeling. I know. And, and how has that affected you as a mother? Like that is the one gift that I think is just hand down or handed down and just given to a mother is to protect. I go to sleep thinking about my children. I wake up thinking about my ch children every single day second of the day I am thinking about my children and how I can protect them in any kind of way that I can even with the pandemic you know like that was the first thing that was on my mind like how do I not only protect my children physically but how do I protect them mentally and that takes a lot of strength that takes a lot of courage um, for for us as moms to be able to do even though sometimes we are hurting inside, you know what I mean? We are overwhelmed. I am scared. I am, you know, frustrated. I am feeling a little depressed, you know, because of the pandemic or having anxiety and fear. But the strength and the courage that we as moms have, it's a gift and it's a blessing. You know, and, and for me as an HIV positive human, mm -hmm. um, it's made me think of all sorts of interesting perspectives of how mm -hmm. modern day world and social media and communication has affected COVID and versus HIV and AIDS. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I look at it and I, and, and I think, okay, we're kind of getting back to this like new normal in the world. Yeah. But, but what is normal, right? What like, is normal? I know it's, it's crazy because because I really don't know if we will ever go back to quote unquote normal. Yep. And, you know, I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that in the sense that I've learned through this pandemic that one of my best tools and one of my best weapons is adjusting, hmm. right? Um, so, all right, you know what I mean? That's the way things used to be. So, now I'm just going to have to use a different set of tools, mm -hmm. right? And just adjust to whatever is, is, is given to me um, and just spend that quality time with one another together. You know, it's the trippy part for me is having grown up from the beginning of the pandemic of HIV to now seeing a new global pandemic that yes. is in a new age. I, mm. I looked at my, my dad and I said, I said, dad, I said, could you imagine if like this thing existed when HIV reared its head. I mean, the amount of people that, that I see comfortable on social media wearing a mask mm -hmm. and sharing publicly that I'm going to get tested mm -hmm. for COVID for my own health and the health of my community. Mm -hmm. I sat there and I said, you know what? I said, this is next level. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. getting, an H get an H getting an HIV test is can be a scary thing but yeah. it's so stigmatized based on the fear of what was in the past. I was doing the drive-through COVID test and, mm -hmm. um, and I got the test and I go away from it and I go, that was horrible because they like scratched my brain with this swab <laughs> that's swab, making me yeah. like cry for like an hour yeah. after I got the thing, you know, and then, and then there's all this unknown of like, okay, like, so if it's, if I get a positive test, I got to be alone in a room for two weeks and I don't know how it's going to yep. impact me and all these things. And then I flashed in my head, I went, wait, like an HIV rapid test is a swab as well. 
-hmm. it goes in your cheek you just mm -hmm. swab your cheek mm -hmm. and then if you get a positive test which we hope people don't but if you do mm -hmm. you're going to go to your doctor you're going to get a prescription you're going to mm -hmm. take medication and you are going to live a healthy life and you are not going to transmit this virus to anybody else. Yep. Yep. It's very clear how we can, through behavior, yeah. as we've learned this year, protect ourselves and others. Okay. And so for me, the future is hopeful. We can mm. re-narrate this experience and mm -hmm. shed the stigma of the past mm -hmm. by doing what you and I are doing right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Starting you, and having the conversation. Yes. being vulnerable sharing yes. your story bringing awareness ed educating those are all ways on how you can help you know mm. what i mean and create space for other people mm. to share their stories stories you mm -hmm. know i um <clears throat> so you you've been you've been supporting us for what, 20 years now yeah <laughs> you you know where this was 20 years ago i mean it was like giant pills, nasty tasting liquid medication, really very few opportunities for, 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 for children in the treatment mm -hmm. space. And now, I mean, as a mother, we can stop the transmission of HIV from a mother to her child. Exactly. And again, I just want to commend you and, you know, thank you for sharing your story because more that we educate ourselves, the more that we educate others. Um, and you had mentioned social media, the social social media platforms are so they're so powerful, um, especially, you know, spreading the good, it can be incredibly powerful. Like you just said, um, could you imagine, you know, if back then we had social media, and, you know, what it what it could have done? Um, bringing awareness, education, inspiring, um, start the conversation, go get tested, share about you getting tested, bring a friend with you, um, you know, to, to go get, um, tested and continue to, um, just, you know, break down the stereotypes, um, and, you know, s s stop the spread of misinformation and you know spread the the proper information um but i think it starts it starts with even what we're doing right now which is just you know bringing awareness and being vulnerable and sharing your story um it goes a long way it really really does you know i just i also just love seeing like how connected you know your husband is with your brothers and your whole family um they all seem to just yep. know you so well rightfully so Aww. and that's just a testament to how open and how vulnerable you make yourself to your family and so thanks uh -huh. for being the amazing example you are oh you're so sweet thank you it is so you inspire nice me. seeing you again oh you inspire me see we're Look inspiring that. each other i love it thank you thank you like again for sharing your story and i will always be here to support